Big news once again, but I've been saying that almost every day now for weeks. But big news in Kamala Harris's camp. She picked her running mate, and that running mate is Governor Tim Walls of Minnesota. What's your reaction? Well, like so many people, I really didn't know a lot about Tim Walls. But that's a very important point for the general election, I think. Uh, I would say that's probably true actually about J.D. Vance, although he had a very popular book. I think that the issue uh, that both parties are running with right now and will run with probably until mid-September is defining themselves and trying to define who their opponent is. So Tim Waltz for the Democrats will be uh, just an ordinary Midwestern guy. He's just one of us. Uh, he's he shoots. He raises pigs. That sort of thing. Uh, he's plain spoken and he's a nice guy. For the Republicans, he's um, he is a nice guy. They're not going to say the opposite. But he's also associated with very radical policies, and they're going to tag him with all those policies. But that brings us to a second point, which is that I think the main point about the selection of both vice presidential candidates, J.D. Vance and Tim Walz, is that the lead candidate picked a mirror, not a balancer. To your point, I mean, that that's a great point. Um, J.D. Vance for the Republicans, double down on the more further right of the party. Same with Governor Tim Walz. He is, I mean, his record is extremely progressive. Strategically, do you think this was the right move for both for both tickets? I actually thought uh, Trump should have picked uh, Yunkin. Uh, but um, as uh, Samuel Goldwyn, the great movie producer, and a master of malaprops once said, we've all passed a lot of water since then. Uh, that's, that's water under the bridge. The fact is, the, I was really kind of shocked at how strong the media immediately came out against Vance and picked up something from four or five years ago, you know, the cat lady's comment, ill-chosen Ill comment. But... Uh, the media, which has been uh, burned so badly, so often, for so long, uh, is just unapologetic. It's just unapologetic. They were all behind Biden, remember, until the leaders of the Democratic Party decided they wanted to get him out. And that's when the Washington Post and the New York Times and all the major networks began running negative stuff about Biden. They didn't do it until Nancy Pelosi and Barack Obama and so forth had turned against Biden and wanted him out. Then they did. Now they're all behind uh, uh, Kamala Harris. And I must say that the Philadelphia rally showed that there are a lot of people uh, in the Democratic Party who are just deeply enthused. There was a lot of money that's come in. People have volunteered. So this is not AstroTurf. They picked her in an AstroTurf way. Uh, Chuck uh, Schumer said, well, this was bottom up. I've never heard a more ludicrous statement, but uh, it was top down. But you're seeing a lot of bottom up enthusiasm, and that ought to bother uh, the Republican Party because I think they were largely caught flat-footed by all of this.